Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm very nervous. I'm going to be reviewing Moxie Lash. We're going to be testing this out for the very first time. I don't know how many of you guys have heard of this brand, Moxie Lash. I hadn't heard of it before until you guys started DMing me like crazy, asking me to review this. And then I saw Raw Beauty Christy did a video on this, and I think a couple other YouTubers as well, and I was just so intrigued. I wanted to try them out for myself. And if you don't know what Moxie Lash is, basically it's just like a magnetic eyelash company. And at first they had a bunch of magnetic lashes, but then they came out with this like new innovative magnetic liquid eyeliner that you're supposed to use with the magnet. It's like a whole thing. It's like a whole thing. And ever since I did my video on how to apply magnetic lashes, like over a year ago, I've gotten lots of comments and questions asking me if I still use those and honestly I do like I have these magnetic lashes that I got from Sephora The ones I used in that video were from Ardell and honestly I use the accent ones sometimes like for photos if I want to take a picture And I think my lashes need a little bit more oomph. I'll pop them on but I don't really wear them out These are the ones that I wear out, but these are super super pricey They're from Sephora and honestly, they're not like the best. I just like using them because I just put them on in five seconds. So when I saw that Moxie Lash created a magnetic liquid liner, I had to try it for myself. Oh, the other person I saw use it was Tati. She did a whole video on it. So intriguing. So intriguing. And from the looks of it, like this actually works, which is insane to me. You pretty much just apply the liquid magnetic eyeliner, you let it dry, and then you pop on the magnetic lashes, and it's supposed to like stay on all day. And this is actually really exciting for me because magnetic lashes are usually really difficult to apply really really close to the lash line because they come in sets of two like for example these are the Ardell ones these are the accent lashes and you have to kind of sandwich your natural lashes in between the magnetic ones so that the magnets can actually stick together so a lot of people find that super difficult sometimes you can't get it like right on the lashes and it's it's a mess so I am very very excited to test this out and see how precise we can get and I'm just excited. So I went online to buy this and it's moxylash.com. I purchased the starter kit, which comes with the liquid magnetic eyeliner, the pre-moistened olive oil cotton swabs, because it says that you need to remove the eyeliner with like olive oil or like an oil-based product. And then it comes with a pair of their magnetic lashes and you can pick between the classy lash, the sassy lash, or the flashy lash. And I went with the flashy lash. I was gonna go with the classy lash, but we're getting spicy today. Okay, okay, so enough talking and let's try this out. Oh, by the way, the starter kit, like all three of these products, retails for $79, um, which, you know, that's expensive. But the only thing you really need to repurchase is the falsies, which are pretty pricey on their own already. But I'm very curious to see if other magnetic lashes work with the magnetic liquid liner, because if that's the case, you can probably buy like Ardell ones and then just buy their liquid liner, but we'll see. I don't wanna jump the gun, I don't wanna jump the gun. Okay, so this is the packaging of the liquid liner. Super cute, super cute. It says on their website to start, and, oh my gosh, that's thick. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. I'm already pretty uh, shitty when it comes to eyeliner. I'm not the best at applying eyeliner. I know a lot of you guys can relate. And this is super thick. I mean, I imagined it was gonna be a different formula since it has to be magnetic, which also, by the way, I'm very concerned about. Over time, does this like affect your eyes? Is it okay to have this like super close to your eyeball? What's in this? You know what? Let's just do it for the vibe. This isn't as black as I would like it to be. It kind of has like a more charcoaly color, but uh, we shall see. Okay, you know the drill. I'm gonna need full concentration in this part. So, uh, cue the music. Okay, so it's actually not that hard to apply. I mean, it's a little thicker than I'm used to. It's not very liquidy. It has more of a thick, creamy consistency. So it does say that you have to let it completely dry before you apply the magnetic lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my other eye as well. Okay, so I struggled a little bit with this side. I mean, I always struggle a little bit more with this eye because it's my right eye and I'm left-handed, so I have to like go over, but 
Besides that, I honestly just don't like how chunky it is. It is a very, very thick liner. I mean, I'm sure it has to be because it's a magnetic liner, but it does make it a little bit difficult to apply. I would say the easiest way to do this is probably to get another brush, like a very thin angled eyeliner brush or any liquid liner brush that you use that's very, very thin, and then go into the product and apply it like that because when you apply it straight from this wand, if you're not careful, a lot of the product will collect around this thing and it'll get messy really fast, so just keep that in mind. I had to kind of like, clean some up on the corners and yeah but aside from it being a little thick I kind of like it I like the look of it I don't think it looks too thick or chunky like when you look at my eye it looks like regular old eyeliner so I'm gonna let this eye dry for like another second and then we will pop on the falsies no the falsies no damn it the falsies okay now I'm gonna take the flat cheek latches and we're gonna put them on oh my god Oh my god, this is so weird, this is so weird, okay, 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 okay. Look how it just like goes, look, 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 look. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, wait, hold on, let me like put it on right. Okay, these lashes are a little bit like tangled, so give me a second. It's not sticking at the back. Oh, okay, there. I didn't have it like directly on the eyeliner. I definitely think that the thicker your liner is, the more secure your lashes will feel because it's kind of not sticking to the outer corners right here because I don't have enough eyeliner there. But like on the middle part, it's like on good, look. I'm not crazy about these lashes though, I will say. They seemed so feathery and pretty like in the thing, but a little wonky. Like some of these lashes are curled. <laughs> but aside from that, dude, I'm pretty freaking impressed. Like it's on there. Whoa, I am fascinated. You know what a game changer this is for someone like me? I never wear falsies, you guys know this. Mainly because it's a pain in my arse. But oh my gosh, this was so easy. I mean, I saw Tati's video, I saw Christy's video, and I saw it work. But just like doing it myself, it just blows me away. Oh, did you apply it too close to your inner corners? No problem, just slide it. Okay, don't slide it, don't slide it. I noticed that when you slide it, you kind of remove some of the magnetic liner, like the actual magnetic liner, because it's like dragging it across. So don't slide it, don't slide it. Just take it off and then replace. <laughs> Look at this. I'm shook. I know it's crazy to think about, you're like, 79 dollars, no way, Jose, I would never. But oh my God, if you can get a lash you like, because I don't, I don't like these falsies, like straight up, I do not. <laughs> but I'm gonna buy the classy lash, I might like that one a little bit more. So hopefully they come out with more styles. I'm also really curious to see if this works with regular magnetic lashes, because these lashes are like, what, $35? And if you can save that money and get some Ardell magnetic lashes, and all you have to do is buy the liquid liner, that would be amazing. So we're gonna test that out in a second. I just wanna take a moment and look at my face and know that I didn't struggle and take 20 minutes to just apply my lashes. Okay, so one thing I was noticing um, as I was dragging the lash across to try to reposition it, since these lashes have like little magnets on them and the liquid liner is magnetic, if you do reposition it too much and if you're constantly pulling it off, the liner will stick to the magnet and then it will come off of your lid and you'll have like spots and patches of missing eyeliner. So just try to be as precise as possible if you are going to look into this. I'm going to remove them. Wow. That was so See? I have like spots missing from the eyeliner and it is now on the magnet. Oh my god, number one, don't look at my regrowth. Ugh, my nails are making me want to barf. But I'm not sure if you can see the actual magnets on the lash, but they're there and now they're like covered in eyeliner. So you are gonna want to clean these every time you take them off or when you're about to use them again because they're pretty pricey and you don't want them like covered in eyeliner and you don't want them to get messed up. So really quickly, I'm gonna get some of the eyeliner and apply it over the missing patches. I am so impressed with this. The only thing I am concerned about is like the health risks, which is a huge concern, I would say. I was looking at the ingredients on the liquid liner and it's beeswax, a few words I can't pronounce, dimethicone, dimethicone. And I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that Moxie Lash, like the actual brand, tested this out for a long period of time to see if it was okay to use and all of that. I was trying to read some articles on it and supposedly it's eye safe. So I'm sure it's fine. It's just something I wanna mention just in case. I want you guys to be as safe as possible. And I want you guys to do your research whenever you're doing something and since this is so close to the eye I just I wanted to mention that I like to test things out and do things for you guys and for YouTube but it's always important to do your research and make sure that what you're putting on your body 
is okay. Now, my only concern with this is, I don't know if it's gonna work because you have two sets of lashes here, so I don't know if this is gonna like work with the magnet. We'll see. I would obviously use the upper, I'm assuming. It has the little magnets on it. I mean, I don't know why I thought it wasn't gonna work. It's magnet. This just changed the game, guys. This just changed the game. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm gonna try these. Okay, so these are a little bit heavier and I could never ever use these on its own. Whenever I was using the drugstore magnetic lashes, I could only use the accent ones because they were the most natural and they never fell off. Something as aggressive as this, like impossible, impossible. But now that we have magnetic liquid eyeliner, Let's try it. It's just more affordable this way if you just want to try out the magnetic liner because Ardell is like a few dollars. So let's see. It's working. It's totally working. The only thing is that these Eyelore magnetic lashes have like a very, very thick band and only three magnets on the band. So it's a little flimsy and it's not on as strongly as the Ardell ones that have three magnets on this tiny little one. This has three magnets across this whole thing, so not enough magnets. That's one. And two, the actual band is so thick that it's hard to stick to the natural curve of your eye. Like, look, see, it comes off on the sides. These aren't working the best because the actual magnetic lash is not that great, but the magnetic liquid liner is still doing its job. So yeah, these, no, Blech. these, Fabulous, especially with this liquid liner. I'm also curious to see how this works with mascara. Like, does it still have that intense pull if you have mascara on? Let's try it, let's try it. I honestly grabbed the first mascara I saw, which was the Caution Mascara from Hourglass. My lashes are actually really crusty and hard right now because a lot of the eyeliner got on my lashes while I was applying it. I hate when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna let my mascara dry for a second. Okay, let's pop some flatchy latch back on. Okay, I don't know why I thought <laughs> the mascara would affect the lashes, but it doesn't. It's on there good. The only thing about putting mascara on first is that you have to make sure that when you're applying the magnetic lashes, you're getting it right on the liquid liner and not intertwined with your lashes that have mascara on them. You wanna make sure it's actually sitting on top of the lashes. Oh my gosh, this eyeliner looks so wonky. I can't, I cannot. Okay guys, so uh, that's it. That's. Pretty much it. I just want to leave you guys with my final thoughts. And I definitely want to know how you guys feel about this in the comments below. I am so curious to hear your opinion. I would say it was a very successful testing. It was a very successful try on review. And I think this is pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is amazing. Now for the average beauty YouTuber, maybe not because we're just used to throwing on falsies every single day. But for someone like me who does makeup all the time and loves a good glam look but hates putting on falsies, this is pretty amazing. Now, like I said, it's something I need to look into a little bit more. I wanna make sure, like, long-term, this magnetic eyeliner is okay for the eye. So definitely do your research, but besides that, like, let's put that to the side for a second. This is crazy. I cannot believe this is a freaking thing, and they feel so secure on my lashes. Like, I can't even tell you. It feels like I have eyelash glue on. Like, it feels like these are glued onto my lashes, and it was so easy to apply. The only difficult part of this entire process is the liquid liner which is another thing I struggle with as well so I do have to perfect this part because I like how this liner looks this side not so much, not so much. It is the world's most crooked line ever. <laughs> so I definitely have to practice with this a little bit more since the formula is kind of tricky, but I feel like once you get this down, this is a game changer. I wanna go back on the Moxie Lash website to get the two other falsies, even though they are pricey. I wanna test them out and then I'm gonna go to Walgreens and I'm gonna buy more of the Ardell Magnetic uh, Lashes, but not the accent ones. I'm gonna get like the full ones and hopefully they're better than this Eyelore crap. Well, just this, cause I like Eyelore lashes, just this specific one. These honestly feel like they're gonna be on my eyes all day. I have to go out and run a few errands and I will leave you guys a little note in the description box letting you know how it wore throughout the day because I know obviously that is a big deal. We want this to last all day so I will leave a little updated note in the info box. But so far so good. I mean, I don't think I needed this. This was like $12 in the bundle but I can just use my own cotton swabs and my own olive oil so like 
this was a little bit pointless. But the lashes are around $35 and the liquid liner is $45. So this isn't cheap by any means. But for me, I find that it might be worth it if it cuts my struggles in half. You know, if it stops me from pulling my hair out every time I apply falsies, if I could avoid that stress with this, that could be priceless. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Super impressed with how this turned out. I'm like, I, my, I have falsies on right now. And it took two seconds. I know it's like not that exciting for a lot of people, but it's exciting for me. But that completes this video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Did my lights just flicker? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.